What up, everybody? It's your boy coming back at you with another sneaker video. Showing y'all a couple of my shoes real quick. And the main reason why I got these particular shoes out is going to send be a run list down of the certain shoes that people had a situation with or a problem or whatever. I didn't want to pull everything out because it would have been too many. Um, but pretty much to put an end to the whole quality and all that kind of stuff, talk or whatever like that stuff, I'm not even going to bring up anymore because it's way out of hand, it's stupid, it's crazy or whatever, and just variant rants about certain other things as well. You know, like first and foremost, I want to sit here and say is that, you know, I am an advocate shoe collector and I do read some of the blogs or go to some of the websites to look at shoes, but mostly sneaker news and all of that. And it's funny how people, you have your opinion, but it's out of hand when I said, I believe that people sit here and they um, call basketball players want to be sneaker heads. And all these type of things, like they know these guys, like Nate Robertson because he shows Air Jordan collection. How do you know that this man ain't been collecting J's for the longest? You act like you know him or celebrities. Wow, like they're new to the game. Oh well, because all they're doing is bringing new heat. Everybody ain't gotta run back and go cop OGs to be a sneakerhead. Half of y'all don't even have no OGs, and if y'all saying y'all do, they're non-wearable, and the ones that do keep them stashed up, so it's not like that they cannot afford OGs or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying, before anybody else out here. But they probably just don't want them, or, or they do got them, but they just don't sit there and show them. And I think it's crazy that people come out and say things like that, and they said they jumping on this trend of trying to be a sneakerhead, and then they're wannabes. Just like everybody jumped on skinny jeans, and some of y'all sneakerheads jumped on skinny jeans, y'all follow the trend, or whatever. At some point in time, I don't care who you are, basketball player, regular guy, athlete, or whatever, when you get to the sneaker game, uh, it could be three years ago, two years ago. Could have been when you was 15. You don't sit here and know. But nobody can sit and say someone's not a sneakerhead because they get into the game. Celebrities are the same way and all that. How do you know that these celebrities or actors or movie people, you know what I'm saying, just whatsoever, wasn't into shoes a long time ago? You don't know that. But they go off what they see and they see. And I think that's ridiculous, man, that people try to jump on them about that. You know what I mean? But uh, other than that, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm just giving you a close look at these real quick. And I'm going to start off with these Air Jordan 4s, which people talk about they had a problem with, talk about how they were cheap, and you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it's been good reviews, but some people had a situation and a problem with them. And see, now these are still DS. I had two pair, um, but this guy wanted to buy one from me or whatever, and I actually sold him another one. You know, I really didn't want to, but these are still in stores, so you know what I mean? So I'm going to go pick up another one, but why he didn't go to the store and get one, I don't know. But this shoe is clean all the way around. It has nice thick padding uh, in the shoe, and you have people talk about leather and all of this. Yet yeah, the, the leather is soft on this shoe whatsoever, but I'm not a guy that's always into soft leather shoes because, yes, they do crease easy. But... As you can see, this shoe has no creases whatsoever. Everything is intact. Everything is brand new on it. Stars poke out, and I love how they do that with the new shoes now. Uh, but as you sit and you see, like around here, yes, creasing will occur and all of that. That's the point of, you know, soft leather that I just don't sit and really care for. But overall, the shoe was great. People get a bad shoe, and they think that the whole... Uh, you know what I'm saying, no, uh, you know, brand is all fucked up because they sit here and got a glue here, maybe a scratch mark there, something that happened back in the day as well, this is not new, but people bitch about quality about, man, the shoe's trash, the material sucks and all this other stuff, if you do your research, this shoe is made out of a split grain leather just like the ones in 06 were, or whatever, oh, um, but the 06 are soft, these are soft too, how soft do you want them to be, marshmallow soft? So when you really talk, I mean, uh, you know, walk them, they're really going to crease up. I don't understand that. People want the problem fixed because they said Air Jordan 3s and 4s crease easily. So when you try to do something with it, people still complain. You cannot stop creasing the shoes. You just can't sit here and do it, man. Force fields and all this stuff is going to be for a while, but the shoe is going to crease at some point in time. This is a hot shoe. Nothing's wrong with it. The 2012 version is definitely better. I have the 06 in the back, but they're real fucked up, so there's no point of really bringing them out. 
but the toe box is like really, 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 really fucked up and creased. When we look at these Air Jordan 11s right here, these Concords, you know, I wore them or whatnot. Look at the blue sole. Now, when you look at it, the yellow around it, that's just glue. And some people get intimidated or upset, be like, oh man, and all this. No, that is the glue that's holding the shoe right there around it. The, the bottom is still blue whatsoever. I don't know how good a camera's going to pick it up, but it is. You know, and people had a gripe about their Jordan 11 and all the other shit or whatever or whatnot because it's not like the uh, originals or the uh, 2000s or whatnot. Okay, the shoe is good enough, once again. I'm the type of guy like many, uh, many other people, whatever. I don't like to go buy old ass shoes that came out back in the day that I had before, you know what I'm saying, and all of the shit or whatever like that. I don't need to do that. I I don't have to, to uh, you know, make videos about, you know what I'm saying, you know, me being a such such kind of collector because you can't say what kind of sneakerhead that I am or, or even if I call myself a sneakerhead or whatnot. I like to collect kicks or whatever like that and I like to buy what I want. And these is right here is up to date is what I said and I want or whatever and there's nothing wrong with it just whatsoever. You know what I mean? So you assholes out there who try to get on people because they don't want to sit here and buy old shit, then that's your fault. And hey, look at this pattern leather cut. It's not that low. It's pretty high right there. Then it dips down a little bit, you know. And I was one of like ones who who uh, got a decent pair or whatnot, but I seen some higher than mine, you know. But the thing with those is that, like, uh, and people will pay attention. You will notice that. The OGs had the real hot panel of the cut that came up about right here. You know what I mean? Then it got higher and higher. On the 2000s and old ones that came out, they dip in just like these do. The uh, 2000s got lower. Then it got higher. But the cut is never as high as the OGs. All they did was from OG, then they got low to 2000s, then they got lower every time that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, an 11 came out. Year by year with, uh, you know, certain levels or whatever like that. The panel of the cut got low. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Here we got the Air Jordan 4s, uh, military blue. Again, nice shoe. Nothing's wrong with it. It's much better than the 06 version was. Because everybody should remember, the 06 had that long ass, you know, how, how it went long, uh, uh, like how to call it the boat shape or whatever. That's why they creased so easily, because it was just super long right there in the toe box. And how they made these was perfect. They were nice. Once again, you got that soft leather right here. You know, you got that nice padded cushion on there and everything. Yes, it's just like the 06s or whatever, but they're improved, an improved model. But again, people bitch and complain talk about this and that, the shoes this. And you look at it. I still clean the bottom of my kicks. These has been worn several times. Still clean the bottom of them. No cracking. Nowhere. None. Those sixes, whatever like that, cracked in a heartbeat. Didn't take time. Just like they did back in the OG days. It took no time to crack. You know, so I don't know what they sit here and talking about. But I will move into the whole cracking issue when I get down to the Jordan 3 coming up right here in the 3 back air or whatever. You know, so I'm going to put these back, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to the part two of the video.